President Mohammad Nasheed says he is deeply concerned over the increasing number of cases of sexual abuse, rape and degrading treatment of children. He said protecting child rights was an important goal of the government, adding that government always condemned domestic violence. In his weekly address, President Nasheed also highlighted Hay Festival Maldives, which started last night with a music concert in Mali. The president said having Hay Festival in the Maldives would be a hopeful opportunity for Maldivian artists, poets and writers. Besides internationally renowned artists and authors, a number of Maldivian artists will participate in the three-day festival in Ara. Pres fire destroys an apartment in Sin Hitadu, the apartment in Greenleaf, house caught in fire around 3.30 in the evening on Friday. No one was at the apartment when the incident took place. MND of fire and rescue team informed that they were called to the scene of the incident several minutes after the apartment went into flames. No one was injured according to fire and rescue. Residents living in the rest of the apartment in the house were also safe. Land survey is underway in Wawu Budmora and Nunu Bandahitadu, two of the three islands to be developed with luxury villas. Budmohara and Bada did do together with Lavin and Rosal Fushi selected by the government to develop government to develop Bird Mohara and Bala Diddu together with Lavi and Rosal Fushi selected by the government to develop luxury villas as part of the government's housing project. Land survey of Rosal Fushi is already completed. Bird Mohara is awarded to Good Travels of Maldives Private Limited for development. 50 luxury villas are to be built in three islands. Indian company Kargoal IT is the contractor of La Salle Fushi, where 50 villas will be built, but 35 villas will be constructed at the initial phase. Contractor of the third island, Bara Diddu, is, is Musa Nasir. 10 luxury villas will be built in, the isle, in this island. Government has plans to develop 1,000 luxury villas under the government's project to build 10,000 housing units in Maldives. Construction is already underway in Raitol Landfushi, the first tourist island designed to sell luxury villas. Forty villas are to be developed in this island. Commonwealth Secretary General Khaled Sharma will arrive in Maldives on Saturday on two-day visit. During his visit, Sharma will call on President Mohammad Nasheed. The Secretary General is also scheduled to meet with the Cabinet Ministers and Chief Justice Ahmad Faiz Hussein. He will also meet with the Speaker of the Parliament, Abdullah Shahid, and Chairperson of MDP, Maria Ahmad Didi, and the Opposition Leader, Ahmad Tasmin Ali. Discussions during the meetings are expected to focus on capacity building for socio-economic growth, climate change, and other issues faced by small island developing nations. Commonwealth has a long-standing engagement with Maldives and has been closely associated with the transition of Maldives to a multi-party democracy. Environment Minister Mohammad Aslam announces plans to declare Biotol as a biosphere reserve under UNESCO's Man and Biosphere Initiative. He made the announcement today at ARA in a discussion held as part of Hay Festival. Biosphere reserves are areas of terrestrial and coastal ecosystems promoting solutions to reconcile the conservation of biodiversity with its sustainable use. They are internationally recognized, nominated by national governments, and remain under sovereign jurisdiction of the states where they are located. Biosphere reserves serve in some ways as living laboratories for testing out and demonstrating integrated management of land, water, and biodiversity. Collectively, biosphere reserves form a world network. The world network of biosphere reserves within this network, exchanges of information, experience, and personal are facilitated. Speaking at the discussion on sustainable development and way towards carbon neutral economy, Mr. Aslam said the papers are already submitted to list Biotol of Maldives as a biosphere reserve. We are trying to uh, create a, a UNESCO's biosphere reserve uh, uh, in the Maldives. The one at all, bar at all in the Maldives, uh, uh, we are now, uh, we have written to, to UNESCO uh, uh, with, with the applications. Um, we are now consulting the, the public in the at all. Uh, the final uh, uh, consultative work is going on. Hopefully we will be able to uh, declare this the first uh, biosphere reserve of the Maldives. Mr. Aslam also spoke on the importance of choosing alternative energy sources and achieving sustainable development. 
He also stressed that achieving the carbon neutral goal should be a collective responsibility. This would have to be, uh, have to have be a, an effort uh, by everyone. You know, yes, we do need the finance to do this. And for that, the World Bank must be ready for that. Uh, the, the IDB must be ready for that. The ADB must be ready for that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, every other uh, international um, uh, bank should be ready for the, you know, uh, 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 for this. And, and when they facilitate the money, not for the governments, but for the individuals who wants to do that, and I think that is when we can do this. Mr. Aslam was joined in a discussion by the founder of Eden Project in Cornwall, UK, Tim Smith. He shared his experience in conserving the nature and sustainable development. Tim noted that Maldives has an advantage by being at the forefront to become a carbon neutral country. Whatever people who live in the Maldives think, right, abroad, you go to New York, you go to Europe, you go to the Far East, the Maldives is seen as a very brave country that has got a view of the future that is in advance of where they go. And I believe that if the Maldives is brave enough to say not only that we're going to be carbon neutral, but we're going to get the public will behind it so that all we need is the resources to do it, I think by being the first in the world, the financial problems that Aslam is talking about might well go away because so many people would want to see it be successful as a demonstration. So there's a real advantage to being the first person to do it because you can get the donor nations perhaps to get behind a really comprehensive plan. And that's why I think speed is now quite urgent. And I Mr. Aslam and Tim Smith was joined by the Fisheries Minister Ibrahim Didi to answer the questions posed by visitors to Hay Festival. The Telecom Fair kicks off in Gulf Dal Tinadu. This fair, organized by the Telecommunication Authority of the Maldives, was integrated by Minister of Economic Development, Mahmoud Razi, and State Minister of Upper North Province, Omar Jamal. The Telecom Fair will continue for two days. Leading telecom companies in Maldives, Watania and Durago, Bank of Maldives, and MNDF take part in this fair. Speaking at the inauguration ceremony, Minister Mahmoud Razi said that telecommunication plays an important role in the development of the nation. He added that government hopes that the service providers will shape their services for the convenience of the people.